All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, what you see in here is a servo right there, which is used so that it can get uh, make the motor go up and down like that. And in here, it looks like there is some kind of system that turns the power um, some kind of power reducer, I think. This holds a certain level of charge. Maybe this thing here is is used to reduce the amount of power that goes into the motor from the battery. Something like that, I would assume. Well, anyway, that's pretty interesting. And let's see, I'm going to take the servo out and see how heavy that is. Because that's something that would be interesting to know. Whether that servo is a hefty one or not. Looks like that came out really easily. And the servo itself feels it feels really light so that's interesting it feels lighter than the actual motor here by a lot okay so no wonder uh, this machine actually has one two three four I believe four little servos like this on it and obviously as I just discovered they are super super light and that is a good thing that is a good thing for flight times interesting so this thing here then brings all these cables over to the main bit over here and these are glued in so it's something else to, to think about if you don't want to mess around with that just don't mess around with it. Let's open this bit up here to see where things lead to. I don't think I'll remove the wires just yet. I'll leave things the way they are, connected the way they are. I think all these screws here on the vehicle are roughly the same. Let's see. Yeah, looks like. Looks like they are all roughly the same, so that's a good thing as well for continuity and also ease of remembering. Um, what to do with them? That came off pretty easily. Don't want to mess too much, mess around too much in there and see. Just what this is all about here. So I guess there's some kind of receiver going on in there. And then you can un actually you don't need to cut wires, you can just unhook things from in here. And that's that's nice. I like that. But you don't have to so a bunch of stuff in there could be easily replaced without having to do too much legwork, and that's that's very cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. We will continue with the teardown. Now, I want to make sure that I only remove the parts that I may decide to take off this build. So, thanks for watching.